Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. A friend of the channel asked, Hey, Shotoku Tech, how do I get my Arduino Uno to signal my TTGO T display that it's time to do something? That's an interesting scenario, so I accepted the challenge. I'm going to use these two simple example sketches from the Arduino IDE button and digital read serial. Now, both of these remarkably have the same wiring diagram. Let's take a look at the tutorials on the Arduino website. So here's the button tutorial. And you see pin 2 on the Arduino Uno's connected to this push button. There's also this 10K ohm resistor that brings pin 2 down to ground. Essentially, these digital pins are floating, so unless you purposefully pull it down or purposefully set it to high, then you're going to get this erratic reading. So this resistor connected from pin 2 to ground sets pin 2 to low. When you press the button, it connects pin 2 to positive 5 volts, bringing it high. So that's the button sketch, and you can see here it works simply on the Arduino side of this picture, you can ignore the right-hand side where the TTGO T display is because they're not really connected. They just share the same 5-volt power supply in this instance. But you press the button and the onboard LED lights on the Arduino Uno, and you release the button and the onboard LED goes off again. What you don't see is pin 3 is brought high, and we're going to connect pin 3 on the Arduino Uno to pin 2 on the TTGO T display. So let's check out that sketch. Let's look at digital serial read again here. Same pin 2, same push button. We use the same resistor to pull pin 2 low by grounding it. And then if you press the button, it connects pin 2 to positive 5 volts. But see, in this case, we're not going to use a push button. We're going to connect pin 2 on our TTGO T display to pin 3 on our Arduino Uno. So now let's go into the sketches and see the modifications that I've made. I've saved both of these out under a different name so that I can edit them. And in the button sketch, I've added a third pin called 2 T display and assigned it to pin 3. I set the pin mode of 2 T display as output. And then, in response to the button press on the Arduino Uno, it runs in parallel to the LED pin. If the LED pin gets set high, then 2T display gets set high. And if the LED pin is pulled low, then the 2T display pin is pulled low. Quite simple. Not much of a change, just adding another pin, defining it as output, and setting it high or low in response to the push button. So now we're going to go to digital serial read sketch. And again here, if you ignore the TFT ESPI stuff that you have to add to print something on the actual screen of the TTGO, the only changes I've made is I've renamed the definition of pin 2. I've called it from Arduino, and that's pin 2. And we've set the pin mode of from Arduino as input. And then we digital read the from Arduino pin. And essentially, we send the output of that digital read from Arduino pin to the serial port. And as you can see here, you can read it in the serial monitor. And watching a bunch of zeros or a bunch of ones go by is really rather boring. And I said to myself, well, it's a TTGO T display. It's got its own display. Let's put something on there. You're going to want to watch one of my TTGO T display videos to see all the details of amending the user setup or user setup H files to make the TTGO T display work with the TFT ESPI library. But here, let's just step through the sketch. I've added the includes for TFT ESPI and SPI. Then we invoke the custom library in the dimensions of the display on the TTGO, and that's 135 by 240. Then we initialize it by saying TFT begin, and then we set the rotation and the text color and the text size. 
And then in response to the digital read from Arduino, we either print this message, hello from Arduino, or we just fill the screen with black if there's no message from the Arduino, meaning the button hasn't been pressed. And then I've introduced this delay for each of those states. This delay 100 is a tenth of a second. That's about 60 hertz, which your, uh, yeah, your eyes don't pick up as much flicker at this rate. I had no delay in there, and there was definitely a flicker. But this delay 100 prevents your eyes from detecting most of the flicker. So let's see this in action. I push the button here on the Arduino side and you see the LED that's cooked. So I press the button on the Arduino side and it lights the onboard LED, but it also brings pin three high, sending that message to the TTGO T display and the TTGO T display responds with hello from Arduino. Release the button, the Arduino LED goes off, Pin 3 goes down, and the TTGO T-Display goes blank. Alright, even though these are just the basic example sketches, I've learned something new, and I hope you can use what I've done here for some project in the future. And also, look for the link down below to my GitHub site, where I have these sketches that I've modified for you to review or use. And before you go on to watch more of my TTGO T-Display videos, Give this video a like, leave a comment down below, click on subscribe, and thank you very much.